Okay, folks, I'm gonna just say this, welcome back. Now listen, I'm doing something a little bit different, right? We finna do some crab stuffed shrimp. Now, you hear that, some of y'all gonna say, oh no, I can't do that. But listen, you know, we got Valentine's Day coming up. This right here, you, I know you guys probably already done seen it, I did, what? Oh, that's the red velvet and that fried chicken. So we got chicken and waffles, right? And now we gonna do this right here, and then we gonna use these as an appetizer. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it, we finna get right into this, let's go. All right, so listen, don't let the title fool you. Listen, this is something super simple. First thing we finna do is we finna hit bake. We finna do 450 degrees. Now, if you guys look, you can see it's not no whole lot of ingredients, right? Look, we got panko, crab meat. Then I'ma just go ahead and just show this right here. This is gonna be the star, right? This is what we gonna stuff. And when I say stuff, some of you guys, if you ain't never had it, you thinking like we gonna put it in here, I'ma show you just how easy it is. And then we got some other ingredients over here, but as always, listen, I got a full printable recipe on my website, which is smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's w-i-t-a-b.com. All right, so look, the first thing we gonna do is we gonna peel the shrimp, right? So listen, these already have been, you know, cut and deveined. So you can see that right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pull it back here, but I'm gonna leave the tails on because we gotta have a handle. I just hold my hand right here and I tear. Get yourself a little bowl. If you guys ain't investing your money in these little plastic bowls like this, something is wrong. Listen, I don't know, maybe y'all got a dishwasher. But for me, I do them like that. You see that? I'm gonna show you the next part, then I'm gonna cut this just so that it sit flat. We wanna butterfly this. All right, so I got them all done, but I want you guys to pay attention to this right here. Focus on this right here. I saved that, right? I got two things I do with that. I can dehydrate this, dry it out, you know what I mean? And then I can grind it up with a couple of more seasoning. And this right here, you know what that'll give me. Talk to me down in that comment section uh, below. See if y'all know what this is. So now I'm just gonna save this and I'm gonna freeze it. So now I'm just gonna spray this with some non stick spray you know everybody got this i'm gonna show this to you guys and explain it to you like this i told you this is gonna be the handle right so the objective is to get this to sit down like that but we want to butterfly the bottom half so it is spread out and we got to have a little surface to put the stuffing on top now remember i said don't think that we're finna try to stuff that in the inside like that we just put it on the top now i'm just gonna take my paring knife and these are already been you know cut and deveined right so i'll just Take my, my knife. You guys might have a utility knife or a paring knife. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here is paring. This is what I'm gonna add to my collection. You guys can see it right there. Look, it's got my signature on it. This is what you'd get down with to get it like grandmama. Remember when we used to do those uh, potatoes and all that? You know, you cutting and peeling and all of that. All right, so we just cut them like this. Be careful, we don't wanna cut it through. All right, we just wanna go. I know I'm cutting towards my finger. You know what I mean? I don't know no other way to uh, do it or to like tell you guys, but I get it like this. And then you just work with it. The more you do it, the quicker you'll get. Listen, you see how that opens up like that? If I push that down like that, look at that. Then we are gonna add that on the top. Okay, so if you guys look right there, I hope this camera's picking it up, but you see, I'm gonna pull this one up. You can see how that right there, we just butterflied it to make a base. Then we are gonna put the crab stuff in right there. And then you see how this keep flopping over like this? Don't trip. Once we put enough on there, this will sit right over the top and that's how it goes in the oven. Super simple, folks. You wanna talk about just something that you wanna put out that look elegant. And I'm telling you guys, don't forget, Valentine's Day is coming. So I got some kosher salt. This is a coarse grind, right? I'm just gonna take this and just give this a little bit of a sprinkle over each one. You know what I mean? Don't forget, this is like a fleshy type. It's, it's just fleshy, ain't no fleshy type. That's what it is, it's a fleshy meat. You know what I mean? For those of you guys that eat shrimp, you know that. So listen, it will take a little bit of salt, you know what I mean, uh, without worrying about it. Now I'm finna come with, you know, my fresh black crack. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by taking my crab meat, right? Now this is lump crab meat. You know what I mean? It depends on how many of these you use. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm probably gonna use about 80% of this right here, right? Don't forget the full ingredient list with the measurements is on my website, right? Move that down there like that. Now I'm gonna go with a little minced garlic. I know some of y'all wanna ask me right now, you're like, AB, hey, what happened to your, your, your garlic press? I'm just trying to get rid of this. As you guys can see, look, we almost there, folks. Then I can get back to doing me. And now I'm getting ready to add my cream cheese, right? Now usually I use about two ounces. This used to be eight, cut it in half. Now we got four, and then we do half, right? Real simple. Oh, and you know what? I gotta make sure I say this. So when you guys download that recipe, 
you want this to be room temperature, folks. You guys know that we don't like to like beat up the crab meat, right? Because if we beat the crab meat up, it gets smaller, but that's okay. Now, I'm gonna take a fork. I got my whisk, but because I put the cream cheese in here, I don't want it to all get in there and then I gotta keep clearing it out. Right, so we just keep it old school. Remember, I'm room temperature, so you see how that's working like that? You see that? And we just work this back and forth. This is what you want. You don't want them big lumps, but you can best believe that everything here got a little bit of garlic, you know what I mean? Uh, I haven't even hit it with my seasoning yet, right? But look at that right there. That's what you want. And you know, it's got a whole lot of it. The thing is really basically crab meat. Now, you remember, we got this right here. We gonna go ahead and just, I'd like to do everything in increments. Yeah, just a little bit at a time, All right? Just want to get it mixed up. And this helps that crab meat, you know, break up, right? It's almost like a tuna, All right? And then we just add the rest of this right here. This right here gives it a little color, helps hold and bind everything together. Cause I know if I put an egg in here, y'all would have a fit right now. Especially my people that don't like that egg. Not for real though, you don't really put no egg in this no way. This is really just like a binder, right? Now I'm looking at it. If you need a little bit more, you can. I gave you guys the base. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to tell you. Remember I put that, uh, I didn't. I put 80% of the crab in there. I decided to go ahead and just do it all. You know why? Cause I go ahead and put some of this in the oven too. Heat it up, brown it up and I use saltine crackers, right? Now, speaking of saltine crackers, now you know we could take these, right? Crumble these up and that'd be the same thing as bread crumbs, right? Hey, you can use anything like that. You can, hey, listen, if I wanted to change the color, I could have did rich. Talk to me down in the comment section below. Which would you do, rich or old school, you know, premium saltines? You see this right here? Those of you guys know, I know it's a few, I'm gonna say it's, you know, tens of thousands of people out there that do know. If you ain't got this right now, here go the real level up, folks. This right here, this that premium. When I say the premium, I mean that premium. This is bacon sea salt. Hey, and check this out. Not that it, it depends on if it makes a difference to you. This is vegan. Now I'm gonna show you what it looked like. I can tell you this, once you open this pouch, whew, that's, it smells divine. But you see that right there? Look at that right there. And if you didn't know, these are all the things that I really, really cook with, you know what I mean? But I give you guys options. If you don't have that, you can use Creole Kick, because most of the world got that, right? If you don't have Creole Kick, any Creole seasoning you can, you know, get your hands on, you know what I mean? But I just sprinkle a little bit of this in here like this, just to wake this up. And I like the fact that it's got the color. Ooh, it's got like a smoky smell to it too. You know what I mean? But that was enough for this. Now we move this around, and now we're getting ready to form this into like a, some sort of like ball. And then we're just going to lay this on the top. I don't want to pack this or nothing like that, but I'm going to go ahead and start with this one right here. Look, this is what we do right here. We take that. Remember we were worried about the tail keep falling all over and all that kind of stuff? Now we got a place for the tail to kick it. You know what I mean? Uh, not big into everything looking good, so I want to make sure that we got it. All right. Just like you see. All right, and this will be the last one. I think y'all got it. If not, you know what? I would love for y'all to keep going back and rewinding and watching it. You know what I mean? But now you guys got it. Look, I'm not finna bore you. I'm finna go ahead and get the rest of these. We gonna get it in this oven and we gonna be done. This is what it looked like. You guys see it. Don't forget, it's on my website. You guys get to see it at different stages also, right? I'm gonna put this in here. We had 455, but in a, you know it's gonna say 450. I didn't wanna just restart it. Five degrees ain't gonna make or break me, right? Five to eight minutes and I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna talk to everybody behind the camera and have a good time but I wanna keep my eye on that so that these come out right. We don't wanna overcook the shrimp. So we stick this in just like this, close this up, and then I'ma hit everybody, all y'all got them echoes in your house. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Okay, folks, look, it's been about 12 minutes, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take it, pull it out. Now I want you guys to take a look at that right there. That's what you want. See, it's got like a little bit of brown on the top right there. That tells you to put that, that heat on there. I can look at my shrimp, see that my shrimp is cooked. Okay, so here you go, folks. I'm gonna take this lemon right here. I can see, look, the one I did cut would have a seed in it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one right here. You know what I mean? We just put a little lemon on it like that. And you see this right here, folks? I'm finna devour that. Cheers, y'all. Hey, before I dig it down like that, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and pause because what I'm about to say is might not be the best, right? But I'm finna put this whole thing in my mouth. I gotta say it again. Pause. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what could I say? Look, crab stuff. And it's nice and refreshing when you hit it with a splash of this, you know, like a lemon wedge or something like that. Hey, super easy to make. You know what I mean? When I'm making videos, I want you guys to keep in mind that, you know, I'm trying to make them so they're easy to follow, but they're fast enough to keep everybody's attention. But listen, when you're in the kitchen and you're making these recipes, you know what I mean? Maybe you have to make it one time just to get familiar with it, but outside of that, after that, you just run through it. This right here is very, very, you know, easy to make. Don't forget, it's on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com. That's W-I-T-A-B.com for the printable recipe and other recipes like this and many, many more. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And you know what? I usually grab these and walk off and all that kind of stuff. But I got people in line behind this camera and they're ready to eat. So guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.